The other day I was hanging out with Haley's cousins and they had all this stuff from TikTok shop and they kept saying things like mogging and am I cooked chat? And I have no idea what any of that stuff means. For the first time in my life, I feel old. So today I am re-downloading TikTok, buying the first 100 TikTok shop ads I see. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna meet back up with Haley's cousins, but this time I'm gonna fit in. Here we go, Mog Tape. The ad I saw for this product was honestly insane. If you want to be the Sigma and Riz your crush this year, then you need this. The packaging on the Mog Tape is pretty nice. It's breathable, gentle, hypoallergenic, and it just works. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it, it does it. The back just clearly feels like I got scammed. Like, why is there a shushing emoji next to the title of the product? Apparently you just put the tape on your mouth and you start mogging. It just looks like I got a mustache. <laughs> I got the fancy toaster. I bought it. It has all these settings, bread, bagel, pastry, waffle, English muffin, grain. It also lets you select how cooked you want your bread to be visually. Let's see how good this toaster is going in. I'm thinking a light four. That's what it should look like. Let's see. Goodness. Doesn't have much weight to it. Holy moly. My bread is gonna be toasting for a total of three minutes. The TikToks promoting this toaster are all over the place, but every single one of them comes back to the point that it is the fanciest toaster you will ever own. But I don't care if it looks nice. I want this to be the best toast I've ever had. That actually looks perfect. Mm. Pretty cool toaster. I actually cannot wait to use this lav mic. You guys know me, I love lav mics. I'm using one right now. This was $5.77. Just watch this. I wanted to test the wireless mics to see how well the noise cancellation works in the worst conditions. These things come on. The lawnmower should go away. This guy's lawn's still getting cut though. Don't worry, buddy. So let's see if it's legit. All right, guys. So this is the normal iPhone audio, but I'm going to be testing out this microphone right here. It was literally $5. I'm just going to plug this in and you should notice a difference in the audio. Listen closely. All right, what do we think? Do we think this is pretty good audio? Let me know if I should use it. Everybody's asking, Ryan, which credit card sleeve did you get? Ryan, did you get the one with SpongeBob? No, I got this one. I'm at Taco Bell. I really don't understand the purpose of this. I guess it's like a fun way to customize your credit cards and maybe even conceal information that you don't want out there. I'm gonna make a purchase and hopefully get a chuckle out of it. Can I just get a Baja Blast? There, there's the window. Awesome. I'm known for my pranks, but this is going to be the craziest one yet. <clears throat> Three, two. You guys take Monopoly money? Sure. It's a credit card sleeve. It's a little prank. They didn't even laugh. I'm still in the Taco Bell drive-thru. This item is perfect because I tried to make them laugh and they didn't like me, so now I can impress them with materialistic things. $11. If someone told me this was 10K, I'd believe them. The TikToks of people flexing this is like, honestly, I respect, I respect it. See how it looks on me. Yo, that hey, looks like it costs a million dollars. Right. Can I get a Baja Blast? Anything else? That's gonna be it. All right, it'd be 288 to window. I already finished my Baja Blast. <sighs> Gotta make sure they can see the watch. Back already, sorry. It was so good, I just had to, you want to try a uh, gelato? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I saw this on TikTok. Yay. Is it pretty good? I think they're pretty good. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. See you guys. Appreciate you. All right. Bye. Take care. I wear the watch and they give me free Baja Blast gelato in a Cinnabon. I have an idea. If Taco Bell liked the watch, just wait until they see the Lambo. I knew this was gonna be a scam the whole time, so honestly, this is kind of fun. Like, I'm actually excited about this. I didn't know if it would drive with me in it, but look at this. Let's just go to the window. What can I get for you? I just like another Baja Blast. All right, yeah. thank you, King. That was my last one, I promise. <laughs> All right, see you guys. All right.
This is probably the first official scam of the video. In the TikToks that I saw, this jersey looks incredible. It looks pretty underwhelming in person, but hey, it's an Otani jersey. At least we got that going for us. He's an amazing baseball player, right? The back doesn't even say Otani. Did they print it with invisible ink? This is crazy. The listing clearly shows that it has Otani on the back, but it doesn't. I don't understand because literally every TikTok has Otani on the back. This looks nothing like what I bought online. <laughs> I love electronics, I love looking at them online, but I'm worried that people are getting a little bit too good at marketing on TikTok shop. This camera was $47. The girl that was promoting this camera called it the viral 4K digital camera. The part of me thinks if you're trying to sell something, you just put viral in front of it, and then all of a sudden you sell them. Regardless, she made money off of me. So let's try it out. <laughs> This camera is pretty nice. It has a flip out screen, which is really surprising. I guess let's just try to take a photo. Okay, that was fun. But one way you can definitely tell this is a TikTok shop item, there's a beauty face filter that you can turn on built into the camera. This is definitely one of the most intriguing items of this video. The TikTok's crazy. I don't know what it is. Is it a cake or not? She's selling it as a candle. It's so funny. All the comments are like, how do you make the bread rise like that? And she's just gatekeeping. She's not telling us. So here it is. It smells like food. It looks like food. Let's light it on fire. how I feel about eating anything that I bought on TikTok, but this looks like a pretty good deal. Every TikTok that I've seen featuring a chamoy pickle, it literally looks like their hands are going to be stained red for the rest of their lives. The fact that you can pour out the liquid that this pickle has been sitting in and it looks like pure red 40, it's concerning at best. I'm terrified of pretty much anything that's spicy, and candy just probably shouldn't be spicy, can we all agree on that? But here's what comes in a bus and snacks kit. Flamin' Hot Cheetos, some spicy Lucas, more Lucas, uh, this is, yeah, spicy gummies, a fruit roll-up, medical gloves. Okay, I don't like where this is going. I really dislike where this is going now. And a big Tex pickle. I bought a pickle on TikTok. I'm opening this up in a plastic bag because I don't want to stain my carpet forever. So this is what the inside of the pickle bag looks like. It just pretty much looks horrible. So before I prepare my worst nightmare, I literally am so scared to eat something like that. I'm eating each of the ingredients one by one. The hot Cheetos are pretty good. These are hotter than I remember. The spicy spaghetti was actually pretty solid. There's also this hot sauce. I just tried a dab and it was a bit too much for me. <coughs> this stuff was actually really good, but finally it's time to prepare a chamoy pickle. If I was in the Avengers, this is all they would need to stop me. I hate everything that this stands for, but I'm trying to get Haley's cousins to think I'm cool. So, this is for you, Haley. This was one of the first TikTok ads that I saw after re-downloading the app. I love that he slices his hot dogs. This man knows how to elevate his life with the little things. And just like that, you've got yourself a perfect dog. You don't have to get that close when I take the bite. You don't have to... All right, we can go to the next one. Frankly, the only reason that I bought this is because the girl who uploaded this TikTok is a master salesman. Watch this. OMG, this is the best thing I have ever ordered from this app. Look at this cereal dispenser. Like what? She seems stoked about this product. Let's put some cereal in it. <laughs> How does it work? How do you dispense? I need help. I can't stop spilling things. The cake from the train video. The tea. Oh my gosh. The coffee. Will it ever end? I was already upset that I spilled a bunch of cereal, but also it only dispenses one grain of cereal at a time. Like just one. 
This is called a Kraken. This guy invented a product where pretty much you just stab it into a drink or a jar of peanut butter or worst case scenario, Vaseline and try to drink it really quickly. I'm responsible, but I'm also fun. So today we're gonna be trying this product out with Diet Mountain Dew. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's one way to ingest 12 ounces of Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> this is a deep tissue neck massager. It's about 35 bucks on TikTok shop. Specifically this TikTok that says, I let my father-in-law test out the viral massager. Look at his reaction. I don't know whose father-in-law this is, but he sold me this product. Without further ado, let's plug this thing in. Oh. <laughs> Oh, whoa! It blew his mind. I'm a grown man. The weird thing about this listing is I think if you buy it, they just send you a random inflatable. This is not the one I bought. The one I bought had the kiwi on it, like the kid was playing with. It looks like instead of a kiwi, I got that whatever that is. I'm gonna have some fun now. All right guys, so the first thing I did was have fun with this Ray Blaster. Climbed up the bouncy house, headed straight to the slide. You already know what I did. Slid down that bad boy, stood up completely unharmed, decided to start punching this target. You guys know I have a pretty mean haymaker, so I literally cut a hole in it, and that's all the fun I got to have with this item. We've got an old man mask. All right. TikToks like this are honestly like my least favorite kind of content on the internet. I just don't know many people that would actually be scared by an old person. That's pretty much just what it is. With that being said, let's try it on. I think it just tore. It just tore immediately. This was such a waste of money. I was actually really excited about this electric nose trimmer. I mean, I don't got crazy nose hairs or anything, but <laughs> we all have our days. It's $12, which anything that's electronic, I'm kind of surprised when it's fairly cheap. But if you want to talk about being surprised, I got scammed. This is not electronic at all. It's a piece of metal. You have to manually trim your nose hairs with this thing. Are you kidding me? What is this from? The Stone Age? Well, I'm sorry for the eye contact. I got ripped off. I'm about to put you on. These are gonna change your life. I gotta watch a video real quick. Can you, I need that. I watched a quick tutorial about how these work, and now you're about to watch a handsome guy absolutely shred. And they look just like regular shoes. How's it going? But can regular shoes do this? This next one is genuinely absurd. You have to watch this video for yourself. This guy has the wireless mic and everything, and he's kind of handsome. Look at this. Guys, you gotta see this. Somebody made this candy called uh, Joyride. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ryan, we know that's you. No, it isn't. Look at this. This is a blue raspberry sour strip. No fake colors, no junk ingredients. Mmm, it's fire. Joyride is the next candy up, I'm telling you. They don't sell on TikTok shop, but if you live in America, go get it at Target. Target, I'm saying. Joyride's trying to become the top selling candy in Target with no fake colors or junk ingredients, but they only have this much shelf space. This much. And guess who's number one selling candy at Target? Nerds Gummy Clusters. I wonder why. So guys, let's help them go get more shelf space. Go buy Joyride in Target right now. It's the best candy in the world. You won't regret it. I thought that would be a creative way to tell you guys to go to Target and get Joyride. <laughs> Hopefully it worked. Next up, we got mewing gum. This is supposed to give you a jawline from another planet. I should look like a different species after chewing this gum. Regardless, let's give this a shot. Comes with quite a bit of gum. Here goes nothing. Oh. Oh, it's actually really hard. I'll go for two pieces, I don't know. It says to chew for five to 15 minutes for maximum results, so. Here's my face before mewing gum, and here's my face after. Let me know if you notice a difference. Uh-oh, nighttime. Randomly nighttime clip. I have never seen people try to sell a product as much as people try to sell this projector. People are doing staged scenes to try to sell this thing. This TikTok is crazy. Yo, you want some Raymond? What are you doing? Turn off the lights. I'm gonna die. Bro, what do you mean by the die? Are you a vampire or something? Bro, look up. 
Oh, snap. Well, it worked on me. Hey, Spock. Spock's trying to go under the covers. Don't judge me. Don't judge me that I sleep with a chihuahua. This projector has a lot of tall promises. It also comes with a remote with no batteries. I had to put the batteries in myself. I got it all plugged in, so without further ado, let's watch some YouTube. Of course we don't stop it while eating a chicken dish. All right. We're Costco guys. Of course we have to try the new double chunk chocolate cookie. Nice. So it's a Bluetooth speaker that you attach to Crocs. The Crocs in this video have to go down in history. That is a Sprite giblet, a Bluetooth speaker, and headlights. It actually looks like he might commute to work in these things. It's got the little giblet attachment here. I've got my Crocs from when I went to Shrek Swamp, and I've actually never added a giblet to a pair of Crocs before, so let's give it a shot. There goes nothing. What? What are you doing in my swamp? Imagine that playing on a 10 hour loop as I walk through the mall. <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? Well, here we are. Two weeks after buying and testing a hundred TikTok shop ads, I asked Haley's cousins to meet up. You see, in the past, they've only ever looked at me as cringe and old. But thanks to TikTok shop, those days are gone. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'm trying to get my candy joyride to become the number one selling candy in Target. So if you live in America, go to Target, get some joyride. And by the way, YouTube thinks you'll love this video on the screen right now. So click it. It's probably way more fun than watching TikToks. I don't know. Just me. <laughs> love you. Bye.